tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Samahin natin lahat ng mga sellers in one platform um, na nagbebenta ng mga Islamic clothing, hijabs, so that aside from matulungan sila na i-market yung products nila, mas marireach din yung wide uh, audience na gustong makabili ng mga products, mas ng products. So, yun yung isa sa mga um, passion project ko. Meron ako actually itong notebook named Passion Project ng Muslims. So, that's number one. And number two, actually, can I, can I put number two? Ito naman, um, Muslim version of fiber. Are you familiar to fiber? Fiber or fiber? Fiber. I've heard of it already. I, I saw it somewhere. Mm -hmm. I've heard of it. But okay, mm -hmm. continue. It's like a freelance service naman, marketplace. So anyone can post their um, services that they want to offer to other people. So kanina sabi ko, what if gusto mong magtay ng hijab pero hindi mo alam saan pumili. Second naman, what if gusto mong magsuot ng hijab? with bungkisha styling pero hindi mo alam wala kang talaga hijab stylist for example like me wedding ko syempre mas preferred ko uh, hijab styling instead of okay. hair styling di ba meron okay. tayong mga make HMUA hair and makeup artists pero bihira lang yung hijab and makeup stylist so gusto ko mag-open din ng platform where um, anyone can uh, Muslims can offer their services to their fellow Muslims. Because um, marami yung bet talaga nila na uh, fellow Muslim din yung mag offer ng services nila. For example, catering sa isang event. Siyempre, mas prefer ng isang Muslim na Muslim din yung mag offer para uh, sure na hal halal na tinatawag yung mga foods. Yes. Right? So, yun yung isa sa mga idea ko. And meron din ako dito. So your first passion project, the one with um, the hijab, is that the one that's ongoing now? That um, it's not yet launched. Uh, we started. Uh, we we supposedly it's supposed to launch last 2018, pero okay. kuno lang sa funds. But okay. I'm planning to launch it this year. So hopefully one passion project each year, and then oh. by 40. Naka 20 passion projects na <laughs> Wow! No, that's such a good goal. That's a good goal, Najma. Mm -hmm. Very, very, sorry, very nice. Um, okay. Najma, so, young um, uh, how do, how do you think uh, this, these passion projects help you make a difference in today's society? Pang pageant question yun na. <laughs> <laughs> How can a difference? Yeah, yes. mas making a difference. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Um, ako kasi I'm as I've said I'm really on the entrepreneurial side and ito lang yung uh, sa tingin ko ang bago sa um, ating society, lalo sa ating uh, sa aming community of Muslims and I do, I don't wanna lose the opportunity na share yung kung ano man yung alam ko for these projects and I really think it would make a difference kasi um, bihira lang yung nagtatry kasi they think that uh, Muslim community is really a minority even me, jinaj ko yung um, opportunity for targeting Muslim markets because sabi ko minority lang yan, hindi ako kikita dyan back in my business project sabi ko, minority lang eh, siguro target ko dyan um, very few lang so in the span of uh months mauubos na yung yung market ko so hindi masyado ko na underestimate like if we really um try to reach out it's really possible mm -hmm. yes it's really possible okay so first this ministry is uh about it's all about um the pro programs i, I mean the purpose of the ministry is impl implementing programs and services specifically for the labor sector, both the formal and informal sectors. Mm -hmm. So in the in its communication department, uh, I am the information officer and also its head, the department's head. Um, we, we, our obligation is to disseminate um, relevant information through different uh, media 
or social media to the Bangsamoro people, to the public. And um, so that they would be able to know how to avail of, of the services or maybe uh, resolutions of uh, labor conflicts. Yeah, so that's uh, what we usually do. And um, also we take care of some inter-region. Uh, I would say that it it is it would it is easier compared to when you live away from from Mindanao because um, basically your let's say your spiritual needs as a Muslim like um, there are more mosques here compared to Metro Manila and also there are more halal food or the permissible food that we could eat there are there are also uh, these are available here primarily and um, I think. It's also easier to find, as as mentioned a while ago, uh, by your second interviewee. Uh, it's it's easier to find the clo- the right clothing or to shop for for your needs as a Muslim woman here in in Mindanao. So yes, it, it's it's um it, it's not it, it's not uh you know a, it, I would say that there the, even if it's it. It is a diverse community. It's still, uh, it's still a beautiful community because, as they said, there is beauty in diversity. So, uh, it's okay. But um, yes, it's a little bit in. I would not say inconvenient, but there is a, a challenge when you live um, in in the NCR or as a Muslim. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. So when you live here in. Uh, then, <laughs> there actually I think that it, it it's good there mm-hmm. that, yeah um personally if if you know if the situation uh calls or when when um there's when there's a let's say a plot twist in my life that I'll it's my it's my calling to go back there in in Metro Manila then um it would be just okay it would be okay for me if that would happen um, but uh, there is a considering the situation now um, you know travel is is like a hard thing to do right now with the pandemic but uh, mm-hmm. yes and and uh, I I have a long-term study here and also um, I'm serving the public here in my in the Bangsamoro home mm-hmm. so um, right now I would say that that it's also it's also better if if I continue working here for the long term. Yeah. Okay. Now I actually remember the the question that I was going to um, mm. <laughs> Ah. Okay. So uh, first, um, again, thank you to making a difference. Thank you for this show, and um, uh, thanks to everyone for watching or listening. And thank you to that person who commented. I really appreciate your your comment, your response to this to my interview, and um, yeah, to people to the people in Zamboanga in Cotabato City. Good afternoon and and assalamualaikum and hello to my Mole Ministry of Labor fam- and Employment family and to my classmates in NDU. Hello. Okay, that's okay. it. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Erica, you very much. Thank you for sharing your experiences mm-hmm. it's great to hear um the, uh, the sharing yung mga, mga cultural awareness talaga yes. that's happening um here in Mindanao in our country so again thank mm-hmm. you so much and i hope n- when everything's okay um i hope we yeah. could meet in person that would be very yes, nice yes that would be yeah. good mm-hmm. yes that would be very good thank you so much yara take care thank always. you thank you very much take care all right so that was our last guest of the- Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.